When you consider it's only a little more than 100 years since the airplane was invented, it's pretty extraordinary just how far we have been able to develop it. And the cutting edge of aircraft technology is almost always on military aircraft, most especially the front line fighter jets. Once upon a time, fighter planes had propellers and would throw heavy objects at their enemies to try and put holes in the fragile wings and make them crash. Nowadays, they are jet aircraft, fully loaded with some truly insane tech and weaponry. From the 21st century fighter, that's the pride of the US Air Force, to the XXXXXXXXX. Here's the 15 most dangerous fighter jets in the world. <sighs> Number 15. F-22 Raptor the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor is one of the most famous aircraft in the world. And since it first burst into the skies in an official USAF rollback in 2005, it has become one of the most feared things in the entire sky. This fighter jet was designed as an air superiority jet, meaning that it is a dogfighter. But it also has a wide range of other capabilities, including ground attack, electronic warfare, and signal intelligence. This twin-engined plane is called the Raptor because it has all the capabilities of a bird of prey, not least being undetectable to radar thanks to stealthy technology. The original plan was to build a huge fleet of 750 of these monsters, but in the end, spiraling costs and the emergence of the F-35 meant that there were only 187 of these aircraft craft put into operation. Since its launch, the F-22 has been surpassed in some aspects by newer fighters, but there is no doubt that it remains one of the most dangerous and impressive aircraft in the world. And there's no Air Force on Earth that flies them other than the US Air Force, thanks to an export ban. The US didn't even want their allies getting hold on one of these incredible machines, just in case. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. JF-17 Thunder most of us are aware that World War III would be pretty catastrophic. Britain's Daily Express newspaper published a report on what the most likely scenarios for World War III are, and five of them are basically the US or China versus someone they don't like. But it's number four on the list that many people might not be aware of, and it doesn't involve the United States directly in any way. India versus Pakistan. Let's not forget, both of these countries have nukes. To counter the massive Indian military, Pakistan has been developing weapons with China. And one of the products of that collaboration is the JF-17 Thunder, a multi-role combat aircraft. This plane is now the backbone of the Pakistani Air Force, following its introduction in 2013. Working alongside the F-16s the Pakistanis already had available. The one big advantage to the Thunder is that it costs less than half the amount of an F-16, meaning that the not always so stable Pakistani economy can invest in a good quality plane on a budget. It was used in the 2019 strikes on India as the tension between the two neighbors continued to rise. Number 13. F-16 Falcon Before there was the F-22, there was a whole host of other American fighter jets developed during the height of the Cold War, and one of these was the General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon. This plane was introduced as a complement to the recently developed F-14 and F-15. What the Fighting Falcon offered that those other two did not was incredible agility due to its lightweight frame. It couldn't carry as much heavy weaponry as its cousins, but that's not to say the F-16 was underpowered. This was the height of technology at its launch in 1974. We call it the Fighting Falcon, but the pilots knew it better as the Viper, due to the resemblance it bore to the Viper Starfighter from the popular 70s TV show Battlestar Galactica. In spite 
of its age, the F-16 is very much still in active service, and not just in the US Air Force, but in many other air forces throughout the world, particularly Israel, Pakistan, and Turkey. In fact, more than 4,600 of these planes have been built, making it the most numerous fixed-wing aircraft in military service today. An unparalleled success. Number 12. Dassault Rafale Americans aren't the only ones manufacturing and exporting fighter jets, and France is a major player in the fighter jet game. Its most famous jet is the Dassault Rafale, which first flew back in 1986. Prior to that, the French, British, Germans, Italians, and Spanish had the idea of pooling their resources to create a shared fighter jet project. But pretty much immediately all five countries began unsurprisingly bickering about how to go about it, so the French decided not to waste any more time and build their own damn jet. And what they produced is the highly versatile Rafale, which in French means both gust of wind and burst of fire. However, after the Cold War ended, military budget cuts meant that there were significant holdups getting the Rafale into service, which finally happened in 2001, some 15 years after its first flight. France had hoped that the Rafale would not only strengthen their own impressive military power, but prove to be a money-spinning export for the country. And while some foreign air forces have acquired Rafales, the number which have failed to do so is significantly longer, because the Rafale's biggest weakness is its massive cost, a result of the highly bureaucratic system operating in France, which is too bad as this is a fantastic fighter jet. Number 11. F-18 Hornet the F-18 Hornet had some pretty big shoes to fill when it first entered service back in 1978, when it took its first flight. The goal for the F-18 was for it to slowly replace the iconic F-14 Tomcat, which remains one of the most legendary aircraft ever built. And when it joined the Tomcat on active service in 1983, results were slightly underwhelming. These were both brutally fast, multi-role capable, carrier-based fighters. But the Hornet just didn't have the pure power of the Tomcat and was lacking in range and payload. However, McDonnell Douglas were not about to let this fighter jet go down in history as a failure, and they began working on a redevelopment of the F-18, which resulted in the 1995 launch of the Super Hornet. This time they got all the ingredients right, and it meant that a true replacement for the Tomcat had finally arrived. Even before the upgrade, the Hornet had shown one of its greatest strengths, its reliability. There's many examples of Hornets taking heavy damage to both engines, and yet still managing to fly back to base and land safely, have been reported from various conflicts, including the 1991 Gulf War. The Hornet has plenty of sting, but it's also built like a tank. Number 10. Eurofighter Typhoon Remember when France dropped out of that project to build a European fighter and went off and made the Rafale instead? Well, mysteriously enough, once France was out of the picture, the remaining four nations were able to get down to work. And pretty soon they had come up with this, the Eurofighter Typhoon. And it is a seriously good fighter jet, even impressing the F-22 pilots who have flown in them. At the insistence of Britain's RAF, the Typhoon was beefed up with extra weaponry and larger fuel tanks, giving this plane an extra combat edge. It is designed to be in service in the British, German, Italian, and Spanish Air Forces until at least the 2030s, while other nations have invested in this agile and adaptable fighter, including Austria, Oman, and Saudi Arabia. This plane is perhaps the best dogfighting aircraft on Earth, even surpassing its American equivalents in direct, visible combat. It also has ground strike and recon capacity, which it debuted during the 2011 military intervention in Libya, as the RAF deployed several typhoons to that combat zone. It also has ground strike and recon capacity, which it debuted in the 2011 military intervention in Libya, as the RAF deployed several typhoons to that combat zone. Number 9. Suhoi Su-35 Most of the fighters we've seen up until now have pretty much been on the same team. Sure, you can compare the Typhoon with the Raptor, but they were developed with the idea of working together and filling in gaps left by the others. 
but what about a plane that could genuinely one day find itself in a real fight against British and American planes? That plane is the Suhoi Su-35, Russia's top fighter jet. This plane builds on the legacy of the MiG fighters of the past, and is incredibly strong in maneuverability perhaps the best in the world. It also has massive firepower and huge range. Russia's a pretty big place after all. Could this plane go head-to-head -head with a Typhoon? The flanker, as the Su-35 is known, is certainly a match for the Typhoon in many respects, and Russia's fighter development in the last 20 years has been extremely impressive. However, for now, they would probably still lag behind the Eurofighter in critical areas, such as sensor technology and pilot vehicle interfaces, which may hand a slight advantage to the Typhoon. But make no mistake, Russian aircraft tech is on the up and up. Number 8. Saab JAS-39 Gripen the Rafale and the Typhoon are not the only European fighter jets worth considering if you are hoping to bolster your air force power. In spite of being a neutral country, Sweden has developed the Saab JAS-39 Gripen, or Griffin in English, an impressive and extremely lightweight fighter aircraft which is also relatively cheap to operate. They are also known as the Russian Jet Killer due to their specific ability to take on and defeat the mighty Suhoi mentioned above. They do this not just by being equally agile, but also being loaded with some of the best electronic warfare equipment in the world. These planes were able to jam technologically advanced Typhoons, and the cost of this equipment is massively less than the F-22's expensive stealth technology. Russia and Sweden have some seriously old beef, and Russians have never truly forgotten the times the Swedes handed the Russians their asses in war. Since then, Russia has rarely missed an opportunity to troll the neutral economy, but peaceful as they may be, the Swedes have plenty of capacity to defend themselves with the Gripen. Number 7. Chengdu J-10 while China has long relied on importing jet fighters from Russia, the recent explosion in Chinese military investment has seen a whole range of projects finally coming to fruition, including the Chengdu J-10, also known as the Vigorous Dragon. This single-engined, lightweight, multi-role fighter entered service in the People's Liberation Army in 2006 and is now considered a core part of Chinese aerial power. The project for a third-generation fighter was begun all the way back in 1981, but it took some 25 years for it to reach completion. The J-10 is no match for a jet like the Typhoon in most respects. But just like so many other things, the Chinese product has one major advantage. It is incredibly cheap. For the cost of one Typhoon, you could buy seven J-10s, which means the Chinese can just pump these things out with almost 500 and counting already built. The plane has been offered for export, but so far there have been no takers. So keep your eye on Alibaba. You never know when one might show up on special offer. Number 6. Mikoyan MiG-35 the Mikoyan MiG-35 is one of the newest fighters on our list, being introduced in June of 2019. This brand new fighter caused a stir in Western countries on its launch, as they tried to weigh up its capabilities against their own top fighters. Rather than being a totally new plane, the MiG-35 is a development of the MiG-29. The newer version has had a complete overhaul of its avionics and weapon systems, meaning this highly maneuverable jet has now entered beast mode. The MiG-35 is also a huge favorite at airshows, since there are few planes on Earth which can match its agility in the air. This plane seems to defy gravity entirely at times. The plan was to develop this plane for the huge Indian market, with India spending staggering amounts of money on its military in recent years. The Indians declined the Russian plane, however, citing weaknesses in the radar system and engine, finally opting for the expensive but reliable and high-tech French Rafales. So the MiG ended up being bought by the Russian government instead, and now is a central part of the Russian Air Force, and considered a major competitor to the Rafale, the Typhoon, and the Gripen and the F-18. Number 5. Suhoi Su-57 The Suhoi Su-57 is still in development, 
and was due to be officially introduced in 2020, 10 years after its maiden flight. However, due to the global pandemic and other issues, this has now been put on the back for a while at least. The Russians don't always give their aircraft cute nicknames like Western countries do, but that doesn't stop NATO assigning its own official nicknames to Russian planes. In this case, they decided on the less than flattering, if not downright hypocritical, felon for the Su-57. This plane may be a bad boy, but you wouldn't know much about that since it's the first Russian fighter to utilize stealth technology. It is also designed to have the ability to maintain and sustain supersonic cruise speed, as well as the usual world-beating maneuverability of Russian planes. The plane is even alleged to have an unmanned mode, meaning this is one serious seriously dangerous drone. The stealth element of this plane is considered to be more a counter-stealth approach designed to draw enemy fighters such as the F-22 into closer range, where the Su-57 will be able to display its superior dogfighting ability. It might not be here yet, but one thing is for sure. This will be a seriously badass fighter jet when it does arrive. Number 4. Chengdu J-20 China's fighter jets are not all about being cheap and simple. They also have the Chengdu J-20, which made its debut in 2016, becoming the world's third ever fifth-generation fighter jet after the F-22 and F-35. This plane has precision strike capability and is primed for a role in establishing air superiority. This is a seriously powerful plane, but you might be looking at it and thinking, this thing looks kind of familiar. That's because it appears to be pretty much a carbon copy of the F-22 Raptor. We ain't spying, honest. Kind of like when your buddy shows up in his shiny new Defender by land. Wind. Land wind. Sure looks a lot like a Land Rover. Until now, the J-20 has been considered, well, a cheap Chinese knockoff of the Raptor, which couldn't really compete with it in a dogfight. US engine, stealth and weapons tech, not to mention pilot training, being far superior. But development on the Raptor stopped back in 2011, while the Chinese are continuing to develop and improve their plane, meaning that this gap could close very soon, and that the J-20 will be no joke to any rival air force. Number 3. F-15 the F-15 Eagle was launched back in 1976 by McDonnell Douglas as the premium air superiority fighter of the U.S. Air Force. After 48 years of production, beginning in 1972, this plane is still being built, and there are few fighter aircraft on this planet with a better dogfighting record than the F-15. It has more than 100 dogfight victories without a single loss, and although this fighter is as American as apple pie, most of those victories came via the Israeli Air Force, who are among the biggest importers and utilizers of the F-15. Japan and Saudi Arabia are the other main importers of this legendary fighter plane, and it has seen combat and military operations all over the world. This plane was launched just after the F-14, and the two have often been compared, with the F-15 boasting better speed, range, and a cheaper cost. While many debates have raged over which plane was superior, the truth is that in the right hands, both the Eagle and the Tomcat are amazing and very dangerous fighter jets. Number 2. F-35 Lightning II there's no doubt that Lockheed Martin's F-35 Lightning II is the most technologically advanced fighter jet ever made, at least that we know of. This multi-role stealth warplane is designed for both air superiority and strike missions, as well as electronic warfare and intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. Developed by the US along with the United Kingdom, Italy, Australia, Canada, Norway, Denmark, the Netherlands, this plane now serves in three militaries worldwide, American, British, and Israeli. Only Israel has so far used the F-35 in combat since its launch in 2015, so it remains to be seen just what the true capabilities of Lightning really are. The plan is to build a couple of thousand of them between now and 2044, with the planes due to be operational until at least 2070. 
Unless alien starfighters show up and we'll have to think of something else, they are not without some flaws, however, and it's mainly the incredible cost and complexity of the severely delayed project that has led to criticism. Will this plane become a legend like some of its predecessors? Time will tell. Number 1. HAL Tejas if you remember our earlier entry on Pakistan, you might be wondering what India has up its sleeve in terms of response to the Pakistani Chinese plane. Well, the answer is the HAL Tejas, India's own multi-role lightweight fighter jet, which was designed by Hindustan Aeronautics. Replacing India's aging MiG-21 fighters, the Tejas was first flown back in 2001 and was officially introduced in 2015. Since then, the Indian military has acquired 34 of them, with 10 times that figure now on order. While development has already begun on the Tejas Mark II, which will work in tandem with the Tejas I, as more of a medium weight fighter with extra power and weaponry. The Tejas I is the smallest and lightest supersonic fighter jet in the world, and this gives it plenty of evasive ability, with extra stealth features also designed into the plane. The Tejas on paper is a better plane than the J-17 of Pakistan, but the Pakistanis have the edge in project management aided by the ultra-efficiency of the Chinese methods of production. The Tejas project began more than 35 years ago, and India still only has 34 planes in training. While the J-17 is being produced in huge numbers and has already seen combat, so India needs to fix this thing up quick or face a major deficit to the more basic but more efficient fighters of the Pakistani Air Force. Which of these fighters would you choose for your Air Force? Do you think the Americas or the Chinese could hold off an alien starfighter invasion with their current fighter jets? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!